Angela and welcome to my channel Runway Done My Way. Today's episode we are going to be conquering another ugly bathroom on a budget. I have done one already. If you did not get to see that video go ahead and click the link above and then let's go ahead and I'll tell you what we're going to be doing with this bathroom today. Whether you want to freshen up your paint or change the color, a fresh coat of paint is an inexpensive bathroom upgrade. All right guys, so the paint is dry and I'm moving on to hanging the new mirror. I wanna show you a really easy home hack on how to hang mirrors if you're using D-rings. Take a piece of tape. <laughs> Extend the tape from one side of the mirror to the other. Push the D-rings up and place a pin mark where the nail will go. Move the tape up onto the wall, use your leveler, and then screw your anchors into place. The mirror is now ready to be hung. Using an oversized mirror above the vanity is an easy way to make small bathrooms look bigger and more luxurious. I have taped off the ugly accent tiles and I am painting them. Is this going to be perfect? No. But is it going to be better? Yes. Using tile paint, I am painting over these ugly accent tiles. This is another easy way to update the look of your bathroom. Is it perfect? No. Is it better? Yes. want your shower to look a little more luxe and a little more expensive, I like to use drapery panels. Obviously you can only do that if you have a sliding glass door, but what that does, it gives you a ton of options and it also gives you length that you don't always get in shower curtains. Yes, you can order the longer shower curtains online, but if you just wanna to go to a store and grab and go, then a lot of times the only way to get the length is to use a shower, I'm sorry, is to use a curtain panel. So let me go ahead and show you the difference in what that looks like. The white one is the curtain panel. I'm gonna extend that and and shoot it and then the pink one is a shower curtain and I'm gonna extend that and shoot it and you can see the difference of what it does in the room how it makes the room look a little bit bigger when the curtain is taller using curtain panels instead of shower curtains has always been my go-to in bathroom design you can see what a difference it makes just having height and a little more volume in the fabric Guys, now moving on to your rugs. Obviously having a rug like this is not practical, but unless someone's taking a shower, let's decorate, you know what I mean? Keep a rug like this, which is a shag rug that will absorb moisture. Keep that underneath the vanity or keep it in a closet nearby and then pull it out when guests are showering. But there's no need to have these ugly bath rugs in our bathrooms when no one's using them. Like for right now, I like, I live alone, so there's no one here. I shower my shower, so there's no reason why I can't completely decorate this bathroom. So what I've done, I have a jute rug runner, as you can see. I actually got this at Target, if you like it. I love how this runner extends the entire length of my bathroom. I also love how the jute tones down the glam in the rest of the bathroom. Another quick tip for the holiday when you're going to have guests in town is to customize your own towels. It's super, super easy. All you have to do, either use towels that you already have, or you can go to Ross and get some cheapy towels. You don't need to do the whole set. You can just do the little towel that's going to sit on top. But for example, this is a towel that I added crystals to. 
You can get any trim you want and just, you can glue it on, you can sew it on, it's totally, totally up to you. People usually know not to use the decorative towels. <laughs> um, but that's a really fun way to customize your towels. And a fun holiday DIY if you plan on having guests. What I'm gonna be using is the vinyl plank flooring. These pop and click together like a puzzle piece. So I'm just gonna go ahead and lay that along the floor and that way when I move, if the new homeowner or whoever I sell it to doesn't like it, they can lift this right off and the good floor is here. So this is a damage free way to change your flooring effortlessly. This can be done in about an hour or two and I feel it's much better than the peel and stick because like I said, it's removable later. So one more time, we have our DIY holiday towels. Using curtain panels instead of shower curtains. Non-traditional rugs in the bathroom. Oversized vanity mirrors that extend the width and height above your vanity. And last, a fresh coat of paint or painting over ugly accent tiles. I am the queen of this bathroom. Seriously, this is how I find all my DIYs. It's always accidental things like this. Like, I'll probably end up making some type of drapey duster with this now. And I swear to you guys, that's how I find like all my best DIYs throwing stuff on myself and then accidentally being like, oh my God, this is something. Anyways, on with the show. Hopefully some of these tips were helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you guys next week.